What up, YouTube? It's your boy, like one half of Enduo. And I just want to uh, just talk on a touch of the topic that's been annoying me for a little while. I'm seeing it in videos, I'm seeing it in game medias. And the topic is basically people say about, well, the Wii, the Wii U is not the most innovative gaming console of the 8th gen. Excuse me? Yeah, it's not the most innovative console of the 8th gen just because it's a gamepad. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. What the hell are you talking about? Let me see, let me go to this dictionary of Webster and check it out. Oh. Calm down, calm down, trust me. I, I know I gotta bring the book out, but hey. Let me see, innovation. Something new and different. Something that's different from the norm. That's the second definition. Something that's different from the norm. Hmm, okay. So, let me see. Technically speaking, Xbox One would have, um, before I go into this topic, I've said it many times on my channel, so if you're new and you hate this video, I don't bash the Xbox One, I don't bash the PlayStation 4. If you have those consoles and you enjoy the games on them, I'm right beside you saying, good man, as long as you enjoy games, I don't care. But I am going to point out something that a lot of gamers and a lot of game media has pointed out, which is fallacy. So again, don't get your panties in a bunch, I'm just pointing out something here. The point now I'm going to do right now is like this, the Xbox One would be the most in it, in innovative console out of the 8th gen. Let me see, they started out, they would have had Microsoft Glass. Oh yeah, yeah, you could do dual screen and every, wait a minute, that was not... Yeah, they they they, they 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 put that to the side. Oh yeah, what about the connect? They had a connect point two. Everybody was caught. Oh wait, 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 wait. Most majority of the people who buy Xbox now doesn't want the connect, and they push that to the side. Huh? I don't understand that. That would have been the most innovative, but that didn't happen. Oh, PlayStation 4. Let me see. PlayStation 4. They had the... Yeah, they had the move. Yeah. And they got rid of that too. See, what I have a problem with is... They're basically... If you think innovation is just more power, more graphics, that's not, inno that's not innovation. That's an upgrade. That's basically the norm of our, our generation. You don't build something the exact same as you did the year before without improvement. That's technology because technology moves at a fast speed of rate. So, I mean, the controller is been upgraded. It's more easy to control, more ergonomic. Okay. Does it still play with the buttons and everything? Oh, let me see. Uh, PlayStation 4 has a better processor to the norm, of course. Same thing with better graphics, of course. Let me see. More power, of course. Oh wait, let me see. You could play Blu-ray, wait a minute. You could play Blu-ray from the last console, so that's not, that's not moving up from the, yeah. Could you stream it? Oh, the, all consoles could do streaming, yeah. See, that's my, that's what my gripe is at against people who say that stuff. Now look, you had consoles, the seventh generation was the most innovative console generation in a long time. All consoles had something different in the pull out. The Xbox saw what the I, the PlayStation I was in the PlayStation 2 could do, and it took it up a next notch with the movement of the, with the motion control. That was innovative. You had Connect Sports, you had Dance Central, you had all, and you had some people who used that game pretty good. Some bad, but that's what's gonna happen. But people use it to try to put a new form of game in there. No wrong with that. PlayStation uh, 3 had a, also a good try to do the move. Yeah, the move not, uh, with their ball and stuff, using the PlayStation eye to pick up the movement. That also was something different. Some games use it, some of the sync comms and, and um, shooting games, and of course, uh, Resident Evil Chronicles HD. Um, 
They used that as well too. See, it was, it was, they had innovation. And of course the Wii with the motion control from the get go, that was a staple and people used it and had fun. I was like, oh, that was innovation all the way through that whole generation. New ways to play the game and enjoy them. But, they are, but, but you know what? We went, they went back to just play a game console. So they reverted it back. Just have more power, more specs. Whoopee, wow. Last I ch and last I checked, you ain't playing, you be playing PlayStation the same way you be playing from PlayStation 1 up. And Xbox 360, Xbox One, controller to play it, still have enough. And you know what? Those were the um, gimmicks. Sorry, but that's just what it is. Those were the, those were the gimmicks. And pop two bubbles right here. One, the people I was like, well, yeah, when well, the Nintendo the Nintendo should have never put the gamepad. They should have put the game, um, the game crew, um, the Nintendo shouldn't put the gamepad. They should have just the controller and then sell a gamepad as a peripheral. Uh, those things I just listed at the beginning with the 360 and the PlayStation um, 3. Uh, that's what it did and that didn't work. That didn't take uh, partake. And a lot of people was like, well yeah, but Nintendo don't use the gamepad as much as they... Well, hell, just as much as the PlayStation 4 don't use the Move or the Glass or the Connect for Xbox One, huh? There were games made for the gamepad, just as there were games made for the, the Connect and the Move. That was a new style of playing. I can't, I can't say, hey, they didn't do something with it. They didn't even a person want to do something with it. Some of the gamers didn't care for it. Okay. But you see, that was a peripheral. You had to go buy something extra. Nintendo made it the mainstay, so the people who kept on using it from days on would still use it. Mm. Because I know Rainbow Curse, uh, wonderful uh, Rainbow Curse, wonderful 101, um, Xenoblade Chronicles coming out, Affordable Space Adventures. The Batman Arkham Knight, the way they did it, Deus Ex, the uh, Human Revolution, the director's cut, the way they used it. I mean, some people try certain things. And let's look at the, look at certain things with certain games. And then let's look at the Wii U. Okay? I'm not going to knock PlayStation and Xbox for their online experience. They're better than the Wii U. I'm not going to deny that. But, let me see. They, those two consoles didn't have backwards capability. Until now, and it's a and they have a quotation mark sort of backwards capability. While the Wii U has full function, no matter what Wii game you have, you can play. No if I answer but about that. They have a form of it, not the full form, so don't give me that. So they took the innovation they had from the last console, and you can still use it to this day. Hmm. That's kind of unique, because I played Black Ops 2 when it came out with the Wii Mother Nurture and had a ball with it. But let's break it down. Okay, you have a gamepad. So you could do two screens. Star Fox is going to use it. People bitching about it for some apparent reason. Oh, you asked for Nintendo to use the gamepad, and then you know the gamepad is used we don't want to kind of stop in the graphics. You whores are just killing me with that stuff. So, you have, you have the gamepad, two screens. You can use it for th things that you've never been used to. Uh, it has a different augmentation because one of 101 does that. You're showing two different things on, on two different screens and having fun with it. Mm. Same thing with Splatoon. It's, it's showing a different way. That's how that game was created. Could it have been done without the screen? Yes, but you know what? It just form it, it just forms you better. Also, the gamepad has the gyros that people have been using. Mm, Xbox, no, PlayStation 4. To be honest, I ain't played PlayStation 4 that much to understand that if they do still have the six axis control in it. And if it is, okay. If it don't, well hell. There you go with that that reason as well too. Mario Maker, ha! 
Trust me. Trust me. You, that game would not work without the game pad that well. Same thing with Xeno Chronicles. Um, Xeno Chronicles. That has a, that, that, that modern implemented a good system with that game. So we have that. And then let me see here. You have the most controls you ever have. As people always ask for this option thing. You have the most controls you could use on the Wii U. If you use the Wii Remote on Chuck, Wii Remote. Classic Controller Pro, Wii Controller, Wii U Controller Pro, and a gamepad. Son of a bitch. Smash Bros. You can have eight people co-op. Oh, Foot Over Space Adventures. You can have three people doing three different, uh, three different things inside of a game because of the gamepad. And stuff like that. You could do creative things with the gamepad. Again, Art Academy. You ain't using Art Academy. Hey, sad it as sad as much as you guys would think about it, it sells. People like it. Mmm. All that stuff. Oh, hey, yo, Liger. I wanna watch TV. What up, bro? Ah, oh, man, I, I'm I'm deep in this game right now. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I need to watch TV, man. I need to see something about the news. All right. Off TV, play. Hmm. Play my game. Hook up my headphones. I'm good. I can play no matter what. Yes, the range ain't gone. I understand that. But you know what? It's, it still happens. I don't need a TV screen to play my game. Oh, oh, oh. hallelujah. Ain't that strange. PlayStation 4 fans, hey, you guys have the Vita that could do the same thing too. And you guys, go, you, you got a longer range to do stuff. That is cool. Problem is that a lot of people are not buying a Vita, which is sad. And I really do mean that because it's an awesome system as well. But it's not a one for one, not even a half to one uh, ratio of what the PlayStation is, so people could use this feature. And most people use the feature, want the full console experience on a console. So that's kind of sad of that. That's an innovation right there. That could be good. That's, that, that could be used so higher power, but there you go with that as well, too. Xbox One. Oh, you can play it on your PC now. Yeah, 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 that, that's pretty cool. You can play it on your PC now with Windows 10. Yeah, you see, you're know, you gonna stream to that. Okay, so I'm gonna play Xbox One. I'm gonna play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, on my computer, streaming from my Xbox One. Uh, but, 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 but. Why not if I just buy Call of Duty Black Ops 4 from my computer so I can have the better visuals, the free online? Uh, yeah. Oh, you see my point. Look, the Wii U is a most innovative. You do most. You, you're not playing games the norm. It might not be super used a lot, ooh, as you're saying, but they still came good ideas out of out of it. Just like in last generation, you still have Connect Sports, cool game that came out of it. That was a, a, a lot of families bought it and enjoyed it. I know because my family had it and enjoyed it, and we had game nights and everything. Other than just that, we did the exact same thing. And you also get some cool games that you know that was not to the people who want not to play games. Red Steel, Rayman. I mean, I mean, you just had Conduit, Metroid Prime, Zelda, Skyward Swords. I mean, it just had great implementations. And you know what? You can still play those games on your Wii U. Hmm. Well, Alright folks. Just, just, just. And I'm not saying that they're not bad. It's all super bad thing out there. Because look at next year that's coming out. We have two games to me that looks very innovative coming out each console. Quantum Break. You know what? It's taking a little bit of that bullet time from uh, bullet time. F physics and freezing it and you can move things around that's pretty cool with a little bit of um, sands of time that's a new way of playing that game and the way the people create the story that's awesome I hope that sells same thing with dreams dreams coming out you can create your own little video and stuff as a video game and that's cool and that's using the power and that can do it 186 nah you can lose the power, yeah, but again, that's power and processing speed and everything else is the generation. You build a computer today, a year from now, you're not going to build the same computer. Or 10 years from now, which is basically been happening with the generations. So, no, alright? 
this generation has this generation the Wii U has, is the most innovative game console out of the 8th gen. You do way more stuff differently than you could do with the other consoles. Again, for those who are listening right now, which is I gotta bring this point up. You how come Phil Spencer could enjoy his Wii U and he also said it was innovative? Huh? Who would have think? How about the top people up there, again, Phil Spencer, has no problem playing the console and enjoying it. How come Yushe Yoshida has two Wii U's and he also likes it and praises it, has one for him and one for his family, and has no problem with it. Reggie Frieza man, he has an Xbox One. I like the games on Xbox One because it's a different experience. How come these three guys could enjoy each other's console without the vitriol and venom but the fan base act like dicks, seriously. And it's just, that's just wrong. And last but not least, for all you people out there who were like, and I was on a second video to this, but y'all were like, oh man, whatever man. All that gimmicks and all that stuff. Gimmicks. Gimmicks is not a bad word, but y'all use it as a bad word. Oh, I'm bad. Bad, but I'm good. That's one thing when I came to America, they killed me. The whole that whole thing of, oh, I'm bad, man. That's bad. Oh, that's a bad thing to do. No, no, that's good, but that's bad. This, oh, dude, dude, dude. Let's keep it focused. Let's go into literal terms. Let's keep it straight. Here we go. If you think those gimmicks and everything was bad, I mean it in bad, but in bad, bad way. You need to drop your controller. Because if it wasn't for Nintendo having the balls to it, to put in the research and the, the research and the money to do some stuff, the controller you have in your hand, PlayStation guys and Xbox guys, it wouldn't be there. Y'all need to just drop in and walk away from gaming. Because Nintendo mainstream and streamline a lot of innovation mm -hmm, so you could enjoy the games you're playing today. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, that wireless feature that you have? Let me see. Oh yeah, the wave verb streamlined it and mainlined it. Oh yes, GameCube, love it for that. Oh, let me see. That rumble feature that's in your con in your controller. Oh yeah, 64. The analog that you love and it, it makes it it's so cool to get your precise shooting down when you first push your shooter and your movement. Oh yeah, Mario 64, yeah. That showed 3D world how you can move and let me forget, let me see. Oh yes, the 64 have that thing right there in the center of it. Oh yes, can't really forget that. The bubble triggers, hey. PlayStation, L1, L2, you guys did it, you guys did innovation onto that. That no 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 disrespect to y'all. That is cool. But wait, shoulder buttons, where did that came from? Oh yes, I forgot. Yep. Super Nintendo had the the have those um, shoulder buttons. Damn, Street Fighter would have been a badass. Wouldn't be the badass game as it is today. Wouldn't be uh, Street Fighter fans. Oh yes, don't forget that Capcom. Oh yeah, you forgot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, the full face buttons. Hey, you could call it different characters. X, Y, X, Y, whatever. Um, X square, whatever. Mm. Super Nintendo was the first, had a first four because you know, we, we know the Genesis had three buttons and then they went to six to go all over. Oh, you got six buttons on there without the shoulder buttons and some had the shoulder buttons there, you know, to go on. Oh, and let's, let's not forget the thing that helped change gaming a lot too. The, uh, the D-pad, yeah, movement. Oh man, I get that move, that D-pad. And, and most of the time you check out a lot of people saying the D-pad was the best, when it comes to you compare the controllers, the D-pad also is the best innovation of the D-pad of all the controllers, except the GameCube. I'm not that much of a, as you will call me a fanboy to say, yeah, the, the GameCube D-pad was not used very well, and it was not the best one. I'm not, I'm not that crazy. But the Wii remote, remote, yeah, I love it using it. I love using it for my, you know, the game that everybody hates, you know, Metroid, the other M. <laughs> I like that game, and that used it very fluidly, so I have no problem with that. See. If you take with all those stuff, what would happen to the controller that you're using right now? Hmm, I wonder. Look, people, the Wii U is the most innovative console in the 8th generation. 
you might not, you don't might like, oh, the game pass is too heavy, nobody they like this, and everybody else. I never, I never see a bunch of people whine for the minutia, but it is. Again, if the heads of those companies could say it, CNET, who's the prayer company with GameSpot, which is funny, they could say, but GameSpot don't. Huh. That's weird. Anyway, for Forbes, they say it. Shoot, even, even Consumer Reports said it. Also, if you're interested in innovative game controls, the Wii U is the only console that has the gamepad. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Look, if you have, if you want, if you got a comment below and you want to, um, don't agree with me, all right, put some factual in there and you might turn my mind. I don't want it, but don't prove yourself as the usual, you know, fanboyish moron. Put some stuff down there and just say, oh, this, this, and this, and that. Please, please, please prove yourself different than that. And again, I have, I have a podcast on Sundays. If you want to, if you don't want to be keyboard warrior, which I don't like keyboard warriors myself too, you can come. I will invite you on and talk, and we'll talk about it and stuff like that. Okay. So again. You heard, you heard my, you heard not my argument. You heard the facts. That's you heard the facts. If you agree with this, thank you. If you don't, hey, put a cohesive comment below. And if you want to talk about it, I will gladly advise to have you on so we could talk about it in the Google Hangout. And that, that's live, and we could go one for one with this thing. Other than that, this is part one. This is your boy Liger for Half Enduro, and I'm enjoying my most innovative console of this generation.